What is going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of our NHL 21 Beer Pro Series with our skater Everett Scott. And in the previous episode, we played games one and two of the Western Conference Finals against the Winnipeg Jets, where we split the first two games. We should have been up to nothing, but I feel like the reason we lost game one was because of our teammate Dougie Hamilton, but <clears throat> excuse me, scoring on our own net which basically shifted all the momentum into Winnipeg's favor, and they ended up winning in overtime. But then we did have a pretty easy game, too, to tie the series up at one apiece, going into Winnipeg for games three and four. So hopefully we can win these two games in this episode. So then in game five, we can go back home to hopefully advance to the Stanley Cup Finals back-to-back -back years. I'm trying to see here or not trying, I'm going to look here and see, we sh okay, so I believe we are in our final season, um, we should be, yeah, we are in our third and final season with the LA Kings, our rookie contract will expire after this year, so this might be our last few episodes with the LA Kings, <clears throat> excuse me, um, but yeah, it might be our last few games with the LA Kings here. Um, it just depends on, honestly, what other team offers me a contract since you only get one new team offering you a contract still in this year's game. I don't know why they got rid of the four different options. They now only give you two. That's so dumb. But anyway... Um, but yeah, hopefully we don't have to worry about that for another few episodes at least. But we do have to worry about games three and four in this episode. So without further ado, we are going to jump into the sim here for game three in Winnipeg. First period, up 1-0. Alexander Ovechkin scores to get us on the board. Second period, still up 1-0. So a very close game here going into the third period of game three. Alrighty guys, starting off the third period of game three here, up one nothing as you just saw, thanks to Alexander Ovechkin. Kopitar wins that opening faceoff here. Tried to poke check Kyle Connor there, could not get it. Mark Scheifele with the puck. Going to try and play a little bit better in this one. I feel like I was very frustrated in the last episode, so I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. Here we go. Oh, Morrissey took the puck away from me. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat so much. I got a little frog in my throat. All right, here we go. Come on. Hustle, hustle. Backhand. Oh, nice save there by Hellebuck. Had a little bit of a breakaway there. I wouldn't call it a full breakaway because we did have two guys right on our ass. Nice one-timer blocked in front. Trying to get through. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Get in front of Hellebuck here. Guard him. Gonna screen him. Oh, there you go. Nice job, Kopitar. Oh, I skated right into him. I thought it was my teammate. Oh, oh, nice play. Hellebuck just managed to get it. All right, now I better go for a sh uh, shift or a change. All right, so Morrissey gets a hooking penalty, and we will go on to the power play. Yes, coach, just skip, button mash. I really hope they at least make these somewhat different next year's game because I have a strange feeling they're going to keep them in. They'll probably, it'll probably just be a copy-paste of this be a pro for NHL 22. And speaking of NHL 22, nice one-timer there. Better save by Hellebuck. And we'll go back to the face-off. But speaking of NHL 22, we have yet to hear anything about it as of the time I'm recording this. Um, but I'm hoping to get at least one more season with Everett Scott in NHL 21. Um, that is my hope, anyway. It just depends on how long it takes me to finish this season. But... Um, all right, here we go. There we go. Nice save by Hellebuck. But yeah, it depends on how long it takes me to finish this season. But I don't think it'll take me that long because I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do the next two episodes for this week, I think, will be NHL. 
Um, I know a lot of you guys really like my MLB videos more than my NHL ones, um, and I understand that. But I do want to play NHL. I'm really wanting to play it recently. Nice one-timer there by Kopitar. Better save by Hellebuck. But I want to play NHL, so I figured I might as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully at least one more season we can get in with Everett Scott. And I do think for NHL 22, I am going to go back to being a goaltender again. Um, just because I feel like seasons kind of go by a little bit quicker that way. Um because you don't have to play every single game. Not that I have to, but I just, it feels wrong simulating. I don't simulate really an MLB, even though I'm a pitcher in that series, so I kind of have to simulate. But over to Kopitar, oh, it got blocked. But yeah, I don't really like simulating. I like playing every single game if I can, just so that way I can uh, produce the most points I can and not just have it be computer generated if that makes sense but anyway that is my plans for this and NHL 22 whenever that will be coming out if ever Rister nice save by Hellebuck 1306 left to go in the third still have 12 seconds on the power play but that'll probably end uh, the shift for me here all right so down to 10 and a half left here in the third period still holding on to our one goal lead Ovechkin gets the puck up to me. Over to Ovechkin again. Nice one-timer. Pass it down the boards. And, of course, no one is there because our defenseman started skating back down into our zone for some reason. He should have tried to at least cut that pass off. Here we go. Here we go. Holding for Kopitar. Ah. Oh. Pionk just uh, picked it off there, and I just absolutely leveled that Winnipeg Jets player. But yeah, I was just trying to hold up there and wait for Kopitar. Nice interception there. Back up. There you go. 25. Over to Kopitar. Back to me. Over to you, Ovechkin. Over to Kopitar. Oh, my pass got blocked. or I got stick lifted or something. Try to get it over to Kopitar. All right. Under seven minutes left to go here. Still holding on to our 1-0 lead. I almost said 7-0 lead. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to spin back. Or not spin. There you go. Nice slapper. Hellebuck managed to get a piece of it. All right. I would like to get a goal in this one. I'm not feeling very comfortable with this one nothing lead. Nice. Nice. All right. So Kopitar got the deflection goal. I thought I did. But no, Kopitar gets his eighth of the playoffs. Nice little deflection there off the faceoff. Nice shot from Drew Doughty. Yeah, Kopitar just managed to get a stick over to the other side of Hellebuck. He couldn't get it in time. So we're up 2-0 now. Wish I could have scored, but as long as we have an, an insurance goal this late in the period, it's, that's all that matters. But the Jets still have time because it isn't over for another 5 minutes 50 seconds. So anything could happen. I'm going to get in front of Hellebuck. Oh, nope. Yeah, I know. Late back check. Should have been paying attention. Nice save. Okay. Let's see if I can sneak around him. There. Oh, come on. Hellebuck just robbed me. All right, I'm going to go for a change. I know, bad line change. Two on one. I shouldn't have changed. I shouldn't have changed. I knew that was a bad time to do a line change. I'm an idiot. Sorry, Kemper. All right, so 2.40 left to go in the third period. Thanks to me making the absolute worst decision to make a line change. This is only a one-goal game yet again. But thankfully, we should be getting an empty net opportunity rather quickly here unless we can get another one. Over to Ovechkin. No. I was hoping Kopitar could pick it up there after I lost it, but he did not. Get over. Blocked him. Here you go. Oh, I tried to up it. Up it. I don't know what I was trying to say. Nice shot there. Goes out. Nice save by Hellebuck. Keeping his team in this one. Okay. 
All right, come on, Kopitar. There you go, slapper. Ah, Hellebuck's just got my number in this one. If I get the puck again, I'll just go blocker side. Nope. I forget Line is still on the Jets in this reality. Nice save by Kemper. Do not score on our own net. Ah. I tried to get back over, but that should do it unless they score in the sim. Let's see here. No, they do not. So we hold on to our one goal lead and we take game three. All right, let's see if we can take a 3-1 series lead in game four. All right, guys, third period of game four is underway. We are tied at one apiece here, thanks to Max Domi scoring for us, and then Mark Shifley scored to tie things up in the second period. Big hit against the boards on Morrissey. There you go, down to the U. Not sure who that is. There you go, back to Dowdy. Not sure why he passed it back to me. Oh, come on. I don't know why he passed it to me. All right. Don't lose the puck. Thank you. Back down around the boards. Ah, oh, come on, Ovechkin. You got to do a hard pass there, not just a fucking saucer pass. All right, I got to go for a change. I'm right there. All right, so under 15 minutes here, still tied at one apiece here in game four. We're looking to take a 3-1 series lead over the Jets going back home for game five. Here we go, Kopitar. There we go. We take a 2-1 lead. Thanks, to Anze Kopitar. Nice pass there from Scott. Gets a point in this one. I think it's been a while since Scott's gotten a point. As he's like frozen solid there. All right, nice glitch. Might as well just skip over it. And, of course, we get another cutscene from the coach. I don't care. Leave me alone, coach. Just get me back out on the ice. All right. So we we break the deadlock. Thanks to a nice pass from Scott over to Kopitar. There we go. Dump it up around the boards. Get in front. Oh, almost thought I tripped Krug there. There you go, nice poke check. Couldn't take it away from him. Oh, nice play. All right, up to Ovechkin. Down the boards, 25. Oh, blocked in front. Ah, oh, I passed that, but... It, a little too late, got caught up in his feet, or in his skates, I should say. Go for change quick. All right, so 10 minutes even here in the third, still holding on to our one goal lead. Oh, shouldn't have moved there. Nice little deflection there. Thankfully, Kemper was paying attention, so we will basically just reset to where we were and redo the face off. Oh, just wide of the net. There we go. I get the puck, thankfully. Just dump it up, dump it up the boards. Get out of here, Krug. Tried to level him there. Just didn't have enough momentum. Nice save by Kemper. Tried to get him to pass it out, but it's probably a good thing he didn't. He kind of had a few guys around him. All right, come on, Kopitar, win this puck, buddy. I moved again. Good thing no one was there. Nice tie up in front. Kept that pass from being completed. There you go. Nice job taking the puck away from Wheeler. I'm with you, Ovechkin. No one's on the other side. Well, there we go. 
Ah, Hellebuck's just on point when he needs to be. All right, so in the simulation, Evgeny Dadunov scores on Hellebuck to make it a two-goal game here with five and a half left to go in the third. Dadunov is just our freaking MVP here. Helped us against Edmonton. Now he's helping us in this game against Winnipeg. All right, spin back around. Wait. Over to you, Dowdy. Got picked off by Ehlers. All right. Let's just reset, boys. Play smart. All right. Just pass it up the boards. Go for a change. All right. Down to a minute 45 seconds here. Potential. Nice one-timer. Hellebuck will swallow it. Nice play there by Hellebuck. Down by two. He's trying to give his team some momentum. Nice hit on Krug there against the boards. Leveled him. They will probably pull their goaltender. Nice one-timer there. Kemper makes a nice save. I'm hoping they pull their goaltender. I'm hoping they pull Hellebuck so that way I can hopefully get an empty netter. I haven't scored a goal in a long time. Oh, here we go. There we go. I don't need no empty net. Got a breakaway opportunity off the face off. Did a nice little bit of stick handling. Got past Hellebuck. It's 4-1 in game four. Let's watch this again. Had two guys coming up behind me. Did a nice little quick forehand backhand. Tucked it behind Hellebuck. And it's a 4-1 game. Let's see it from this angle. Forehand, backhand. Just got behind his skate. Almost tripped me up. But I get it done. All right, so a 4-1 game here in game four in the Western Conference Finals. His 13th goal of the playoffs. Very nice. Definitely aiming for that uh, Conn Smythe trophy if we win the Stanley Cup again. All right, I'm just going to hang on to it for as long as possible. Just play keep away with the Jets. Frustrate him a little bit. There you go. Oh, nice one-timer there from Kopitar. Oh, off the post. I had it behind Hellebuck, too. I just shot it way too late. I'm not going off, coach. Not with 30 seconds. Nice one-timer. Bad rebound control there. But a nice save by Kemper nonetheless. There we go. Just dump it around the boards. My guy just came to a complete stop there. I think his stick got stuck in the board somehow. Big hit there. There you go. Who is that? Max Domi. Okay. I saw 19 and I thought it was Taves. Because I know Taves is on this team. Max Domi gets his second goal, and I, I forgot he was the one who gave us our only goal coming into the third. And Scott will get another assist. All right, so it's a 5-1 game. Very nice. Not letting off the gas. We might as well watch it. We only got 12.6 seconds left. Oops. I don't think I meant to press that. Okay, let's see here. Come on, boys. Play smart. There you go, now just dump it. Or, okay. There you go, nice little last chance shot there. Hellebuck makes one more save, but we win at game four dominantly. And we will go back home to LA for game five with a chance to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's go back to the main menu and see how the Eastern Conference Finals are playing. Oh, here we go, we gotta watch this replay though. Forehand, backhand, tucked it behind Hellebuck. There we go. All right, let's go see how the Eastern Conference Finals are are panning out. All right, guys, so I have simulated up to game five. Let's see how the Eastern Conference Finals are playing out, or panning out, excuse me. As you know, we are up three to one over the Jets. And the Buffalo Sabres, the Buffalo Sabres are up three to one over the Rangers. All right, 
This is a few years ahead of real life, so maybe Buffalo has finally hit their stride. Maybe they finally got that rebuild working. I don't know. But the LA Kings are up 3-1 to one over the Winnipeg Jets, and the Buffalo Sabres are up 3-1 over the New York Rangers. So very interesting outcome. I figured the Rangers would have a pretty easy uh, Eastern Conference Finals matchup over the Buffalo Sabres. But then again, I thought uh, Boston would be able to eliminate Buffalo easily. And then I thought Florida would be able to eliminate Buffalo easily. So, who knows? Honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing Buffalo in the finals. Either way, I just want to see the Kings in the finals. That's all I know. Um, One more thing I want to check out. Okay, yeah. So, we are back-to-back Stanley Cup winners. And we are back-to-back Conn Smythe Trophy winners. Hart Memorial Trophy winners and Art Ross Trophy winners, I think. Yeah, times two, I think that means we've won it back to back. So, I haven't actually looked at this in a while. So, I guess we could go through this. So, two Stanley Cup wins, two Conn Smythes, two Hart Trophies, no Frank J. Selke Trophy, uh, two Art Ross Trophies, one Maurice Richard Trophy. So, I have four of the five awards. I have six records owned. I've been selected for the All-Star Game twice. Two conference wins, 21 hat tricks, 175 goals, 174 assists for 349 points. First point and first goal was against the San Jose Sharks. All right, 300 points was achieved this season. And then 100 goals was achieved last season. So, very nice. I forgot this was even a thing. I do apologize. Um, But yeah, I think that will wrap it up for this one. Um, The next episode, you can expect to see Game 5 and possibly Game 6, depending on how things pan out. Um, And then hopefully after that, we will be in the Stanley Cup Finals. But if Games 5 and 6 don't go in our favor, then you will see Game 7 in an episode all on its own. But I think we got it. I think I think I think we would have swept the Winnipeg Jets. I just think uh, Dougie Hamilton screwing us over in Game 1 kind of gave... Winnipeg a little bit of momentum to fight back and win game one. Otherwise, I feel like we would be on our way to the finals right now. So I think game five, we have it pretty much in the bag, but you never know. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you've not done so already. I would greatly appreciate it if you did those things. Also, make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you thought about the video, giving me some suggestions for other games you think I should play. Um, They don't have to be sports games. Um, I do plan on playing Red Dead Redemption and then Red Dead Redemption 2. As soon as I finish GTA San Andreas, I'm just trying to um, get ahead in NHL. Um, So yeah, after I finish this season, I do plan on trying to get GTA finished and then going back to MLB for a little bit. Um, So yeah, if you're waiting for those two uh, series to come back, That's when you can expect them. Um, But yeah, for the rest of this week, though, you can expect uh, NHL videos. So yeah, so that'll pretty much wrap it up, guys. So like I said, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you you thought about the video. I'm talking way too fast. And until next time, guys, take care. (music) 